Hello dear students, this is engineer Akib Ahmed from Department of Civil Engineering UT Peshawar. In today's uh, tutorial, we will uh, perform the analysis on flower piles with raft foundation on sand, sandy soil. So first of all, uh, we will open this project and you have to, these are the project properties. You can enter here the title etc. These are the model properties. Length is in feet, pound per force, the force unit and time unit is day. These are calculated by default by the Plasis software, earth gravity and uh, unit weight of water. This will be our contour that is two feet, uh, two feet in negative direction, two feet in positive direction and uh, x and 1.5 feet in negative y direction 1.5 feet in positive direction and so our boundary condition is 4 feet by 3 feet and its depth will be uh, 5 feet okay now modify the, this is our uh, borehole the sand material is assigned to it and uh, its uh, top is on uh, uh, top coordinate is 0 zero feet and uh, its bottom is uh, minus five feet and our water level is below the uh, um, sand uh, so it is minus six feet at minus six feet now for materials um, for soils and interfaces this is the soil sand sand soil so these are the properties hardening soil model drainage type is selected as drain this is the color this is the unit rate unsaturated and saturated for the sand this is the initial which is calculated by automatically now these are the parameters stiffness parameters modulus of elasticity for sand e50 e odometer e unloading reloading these all properties are explained in the other tutorials so kindly watch their videos now these are the alternatives which is calculated uh, by the relation correlation with the stiffness parameters these are the strength parameters uh, and cohesion angle of internal friction and tensing angle these all parameters are explained in the previous tutorials so kindly watch these previous tutorials now groundwater is selected as a standard so these are all calculated by the plaques is automatically interface or our interface is 0 0.71 and strength is manual now initial these are also calculated automatically by plaxis so this was the property of saint now we also created the plate element for raft so it is the raft these are all properties of the raft thickness and inner weight etc so i also explained these parameters in the previous video so here i entered already the properties of it is modulus of elasticity and first and second direction and horizontal ratio etc and the shear model is g12 so this was the property of pile raft uh, raft now we also created the material for piles so these are the piles modulus of elasticity for the pile material unit weight of the pile material in the beam type predefined type uh, beam type is circular tube these are the diameter thickness area moment of inertia of the pile so i explained all of these uh, parameters uh, in first tutorial now this is the skin resistance axial skin resistance of the pile and this is the base resistance of the pile okay So the material is already assigned. Now we will have to move the structure mode. First of all, we have to make uh, the raft. So for raft, we will click here, this, 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 and this. So raft is one feet by one feet. So we have to enter these uh, parameters as minus 0 0.5 feet. And this should be minus 0 0.5 feet. This is minus 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 feet and this is 0 0.5 feet 0 0.5 feet and minus 0 0.5 feet okay 
now the raft is already modeled now after that we have to assign material to the raft so click right click on the raft create create plate now the plate is created and its name is play, uh, player 6 set materials and i will set the material as a raft so the raft material assigned to the plate now after that we have to make the piles is embedded beam so i will make here uh, three four piles so for four piles we will click on the here and this is the embedded beam create embedded beam i will click anywhere in the and i will give the coordinates to the pile so for first point i have to give the coordinates is our pile is 1.5 feet long and uh, the there will be four piles in this raft uh, with a spacing of five inch center to center between them so for this i already calculated its distance in feet so in x direction it will be 0 0.20 283 feet and now in y direction it will be 0 point uh, the second point will be 0 point 1.5 now the pile is modeled so this is our pile now we have to assign material to that pile so create embedded beam is created set material as pile now piles is uh, material is assigned to the pile now uh, I have to make the other pile by creating array so we'll click so select this pile create array uh, I want it's copy in x and y both directions so i will select the x y plane now number of columns will be two so distance between the columns will be five inches so it uh, i think five inches will be 0 0.4 something let me calculate that five inch divided by 12 0 0.4167 so distance between the columns will be 0 point negative minus 0 0.4167 and here it will be minus 0 0.4167 click ok yes so these are the piles created you can also create more piles by array property now this is our pile we will okay now so the material are also assigned to the pile now after that uh, we have to apply load on this so for load we have to create load and surface load and our surface load will be here, 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 and here. So our surface load is on pile, so it should be minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 feet. 0 0.5 feet 0 0.5 feet 0 0.5 feet and negative 0 0.5 feet ok 
okay now we have to assign the value to the load so in negative z direction so our load will be 1200 pound force per feet square so okay now load is assigned okay and uniform load is assigned now we have to also apply the lateral load so for lateral load i this is the create point load here i click here so for lateral load it will be 0 0.5 in the mid of this section so in x direction it will be at 0 0.5 feet and in y direction it is 0 and z 0 so it will be a lateral load so we have to z 0 and this will be in negative x direction it will be negative x direction so we have to interface minus 592 pounds so this is now the lateral load is also created and these are the lateral loads and this is the pile pile draft we also have to create create positive interface so the interface is created now the interface is also created load is applied and everything is done now we have to mesh this so for meshing we have to control all that generate mesh i have to mesh it as coarse okay now the mesh is generating now the message uh, mesh is generated successfully and these are the elements and nodes if you want to mesh this is course and mesh define mesh
sorry for that now the message is generated now we have to create the stage construction so in first stage we have just soil in second stage so these are by default made now we have to delete this is in future without asking now in initial phase there is only a soil in now we have to also delete this phase we have to create another stage construction so this is we have to add this and we have to enter here is phase plastic etc etc okay now we have to assign this name is files construction this is the construction phase now we have to enter another phase it will be application of vertical load now we have to enter another phase that will be lateral load lateral load so all the phases are successfully made now for construction phase we have to uh, enter the embedded beams click activate the embedded beams and also activate the plate and interface now in first phase in vertical load application phase we have to enter the load that is surface load in lateral load application you have to activate the point load so this 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 is the stage construction it is okay piles are also made so our calculation now for we have to calculate the stage so for calculation we have to click enter ignore and calculate now this is calculating the model analysis 